in this video we are going to be installing and using angry ip scanner on our kali linux so what is angry ip scanner angry ip scanner which is also known as advanced ip scanner is an open source free network scanning device which will let you know the active devices on your network and you can also gather information about your devices a disclaimer before i start the installation process do not scan device that you do not own or have the explicit permission to in this video i will be scanning only my network so without further ado let's get started first open up your browser go to google type in angry ip scanner download and press enter go to the link where it says angry ip scanner the original ip scanner for windows mac click on free download click on linux click on the first link where it says the debian package for ubuntu and your download will start after your download is finished go back to your terminal change to the directory where your file got downloaded to for me it got downloaded into the downloads directory and I can see that this is the file that got downloaded. Type in sudo space dpkg space dash i and the name of the file. Type in your password for the machine. After the installation has completed, you can start the angry IP scanner by clicking on the Kali button here and type in angry and you can see this the angry IP scanner has been installed. Click on that and your angry IP scanner will start. The first thing we can see is the IP range. Here you can specify the range of the IP that you want to scan. This is the from field, this is the to field. Then you can also do random, which will ask you for the IP mask. Here you can select the subnet that you want to scan on. You can also specify a text file, but for the purpose of this video, I will only be scanning the IP ranges in my network. Next, we can also select the subnet mask. Here you can do slash 24 slash 26. You can also specify the host name and you can also specify which type of IP addresses you want to scan. I'm scanning IPv4. You can also scan IPv6. Next, come to tools click on preferences here you can change the configuration you can change the delay between starting threads maximum number of threads you can change the pinging method too i will go for tcp you can select how many packets to send per second you can scan dead host which i will not for this video coming to ports you can specify which ports you want to scan or you can also select the range of ports you want to scan for example one to one thousand i will only select port 80 and in the display section you can select if you want the result for only a live host or host with port opens or all scan hosts i will go for all scan host and i'm keeping all the other values as default and pressing ok after the configuration has been completed we can finally start to scan our network but first let's see our network address and the subnet that we're in with the ip space a command i can see that this is my ipv4 address and this is the subnet that i'm in slash 24 so i have to scan until here I can see it was already pre-selected and it will scan from 0 to 255 which is also the slash 24 and I will just simply press start and I can now see the scanning has been completed. I can see 192.168.0.1 is active which is my router, the default gateway of my router and if I scroll down these are all the red dead host and I can also see it's not pinging but it's there 192.168.0.104 which is the IPv4 of my laptop that's why it's written in blue and that is how you scan your own network please make sure not to scan networks you do not have explicit permission to that is how you install and use angry ip scanner on kali linux thank you so much for watching the video